viewers, this is Dr. Subrata Dev, pediatric endocrinologist who is wanting to share some thoughts and views with you. As you know, COVID 2.0 is upon us. COVID is back. As you all may recall, for the last year or so, there have been tremendous suffering and privations starting with the lockdown which went on for several months followed by very restricted movements and then gradually things were easing off but as you know now that the more restrictive measures will have to be followed and there may be future lockdowns. The point which I want to stress on today is the occurrence of obesity and mental health issues in this COVID era, especially during the lockdown. Now the three fundamental parts of good health are school going and structured timing for meals, for sleep and exercise. Now, if you may recall, and this will resonate with a lot of parents, that during the lockdown, uh, strict lockdown days, followed by no school for almost a year, the children have gained weight, they've had sleep disturbances, their TV and other appliance viewing has increased. In fact, a study done at the University of Buffalo, which was shared in the journal Obesity, which showed that on an average, the children slept half an hour more, ate one extra meal a day, and they had roughly about five hours of viewing time during the day, whether it was television or it was online computer teaching. And on the average, they activity and exercise decrease by two hours a week. Now what this does is completely disrupts their life. Children who are obese, and as you know, even prior to this lockdown, India is facing an unprecedented precedented, uh, obesity epidemic because of various factors, junk food, less exercise, and malnutrition where children used to go to the malls and eat indiscriminately junk food. Now this lockdown and no school uh, scenario has aggravated this obesity and as you know there are huge side effects of childhood obesity. A, you end up becoming an adult with obesity with myriad uh, complications. You can develop non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, you can develop diabetes if there is a tendency in the family, you can develop high blood pressure and the adolescent girls can have menstrual problems. So the important thing in this message is get prepared, get motivated, have a structured life, follow a certain pattern, restrict viewing times, do yoga, spot jogging, you know, uh, exercises which are aerobic like Zumba and others where there is an expenditure of energy and fitness is a priority. The meal timing should be fixed, sleep times should be also fixed because of this lack of movement out of the home, there seems to be a sense of timelessness. So I want to summarize my little presentation by saying obesity presents a clear and present danger to our children and adolescents during this COVID era and we have to be very vigilant that their sleep, exercise and meal times 
are strictly regulated so that there is a sense of purpose and a sense of structure at home even though movement to the outside is restricted somewhat thank you i hope i have been able to convey my concerns and my solutions uh, be talking to you again later bye for now